Hey, it's Dr. Allen from Evolve Chiropractic out here in Woodstock. Today I'm going to show you how to stretch out your hamstrings using a chair and a lacrosse ball. So I'm going to have a little help from my friend here just to describe where we're going to be using this ball and what we're trying to accomplish. So on the back side of your thigh you have two sets of hamstring groups, right? And right behind your knee you'll have two little ropes you'll be able to find. So ideally what we want to do is place the ball where those two muscle groups come together and start to form one junction that will attach up onto your sit bone. All right. So ideally we're going to start kind of mid belly right in between those two muscle groups. So what you want to do is take your hands and feel for those two ropes on either side of your knee right behind on your thigh. You're going to follow them up to where they start to come together and that's where we want to place our ball. So the ball is going to go on the edge of the chair, all right, where we can slowly rest our leg onto the ball and from there we're going to lift the chest up nice and tall and lean onto the ball slowly. Now the important thing about doing this exercise is that you're not creating a significant amount of discomfort. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst pain possible, you want to be around a 4 or a 5. So it's kind of that good hurt sensation, not creating any uh, painful faces or anything like that. You slowly sink in until you start to feel some pressure. And then from there, we're going to create a shearing force, right, from within. The ball is basically going to keep the muscle static, and then we're going to stretch the tissue on top of the ball. So again, we got our ball placed, chest is up, leaning forward, I'm going to reach through my heel to create that shearing force in the tissue. The tension is going to increase when you do that, so again, just be careful how much pressure you're applying. You want to stay in that 4 to 5 out of 10 on a pain scale. You hold for about a minute, 1 to 2 minutes. And while we're doing it, it's important to breathe nice and deep, get oxygen into your body. And nice deep breaths will help relax the system a little bit. Good. Now you can find two, maybe three different points, and you can kind of scoot your bottom towards the edge of the seat to go up higher towards that little sit bone. And again, we're hinging up tall with the chest and then forward. And from there, we're going to increase tension, reaching through the heel. I'm lifting my toes up. Again, about a minute or so you want to hold and then back in. So you'll find two, maybe three points on the back of the leg. Spend no more than two minutes on each point. You can bruise the tissue, so you got to be very careful about that. If it is sore the next day, that's fine. You can just put a little ice on it. Uh, it shouldn't be sore for more than a day or two. So try that out. Should open up those hamstrings pretty well create some more flexibility and help those muscles contract, relax like they're supposed to. Go get them, have fun, we'll see you soon.